kindness of my vrouw Vental. He's feeling cooler already. Grandfather, may I name him Batrash? Name him what? Batrash. Is that a name for a dog? Oh, yes. It is what Peter Paul Rubens named his dog. Here, I'll show you. He painted his dog, Patrash, into many of his greatest masterpieces, including the deposition, which is in the cathedral. When did you see the pictures in the cathedral? I haven't yet, except for the assumption. It's in the choir and free for anyone to look at. To see the others cost a franc. Don't you like the name Patrash? Oh, it's a fine name. But, but... Patrash. Patrash. I'll have to practice saying it. <laughs> look, look here, look. I only wanted to pet him. Ah, but he doesn't know that yet. Your dog doesn't yet know the difference between kindness and cruelty. But... No, no but. Leave him alone. Don't touch him. Nello! He tried to drink some water. That's wonderful. I brought him a present. Oh. Well, come in, and we can give it to him. Then he'll learn to know that you're his friend, too. See what Aloys brought for Petrash? That's going to be his name. Petrash? It's a beautiful name. Now, uh, we save it for him. Yeah. You see, he can barely let water, let alone munch on a fine bone like this. Well, you can see that, can't you? Grandfather is right. He's still very weak. How beautiful he is. Even when he's sick. <laughs> you see? The dog is still afraid of us. As far as he knows, we're just as cool as his former master. I wouldn't hurt him. Neither would I. Now, children, you both want the dog to get well quickly, don't you? Yes, Grandfather. Well, then let him rest. Why don't you walk Lois back to her house? And by the time you come back, dinner will be ready. How will you know the bone was from me? Oh. Well, I'll tell him. I'll tell him Lois left it for him. I'll tell him. Good night, my lady. Dog, there is something you must learn right away. If you're going to live here with my grandson and myself, you must learn this is a house of love. Small house, we're very poor. But here we all share alike, the good and the bad. I promise you this lovely bone will not be denied you, a present from the little Alois. But, after it has added more flavor to our common stew. You agree? You agree. He will get well, won't he? Oh, of course. I'm sure of it. Will he always grow with us? Of course not. He just has to get to know and trust us. Oh, guess what? I saw a real artist today on the way home from Antwerp. Oh, you never saw anyone paint so quickly. The man Papa hides painting the windmill was very fast, too. The man I'm talking about is an artist. An artist, not a house painter. He was painting a picture, a scene of all the people on the road, all the farmers going to the Kermis at Louvain. Ah, uh, it was wonderful. Then he picked some colors up off a board and... You really think you'll become an artist? Hmm. I know I will. Well, I'd better be getting home to see our Petrashes. Bye. Now, now, your dog will get his bone in due time. The cooking's made it much better. Soften the marrow for him so he can munch on it. Hello. We 
thank thee, O Lord, for all this food and for all other blessings. Amen. Ah, the bone has put much more flavor in it. Very good. Eat, boy. Yes, Grandfather. Mm. I'm very hungry tonight. May I give the rest of my stew to Patrash? But you need it yourself, boy. I'm just not very hungry. Here, Patrash. It's for you. It's very good. Please, how do you expect to get well if you don't eat? How do I get him to eat? I told you before, boy, leave him alone. He'll eat when he's hungry. Now come on back to the table. I've lost my appetite. I'll eat half if you'll eat half. Patrash ate all his food, every bite of it. I gave him some water during the night, and he only growled a little bit. Yeah, yeah, hurry, boy, hurry. That's a good sign, isn't it? On our way home from Antwerp today, we must keep our eye open for some firewood. I saw a whole heap of dead twigs by Boss Mulder's land. They're vine cuttings. They'll be fine for making charcoal to draw with. Every day begins and ends the same way here. I talk of firewood to cook with, he talks of charcoal to draw with. I'll only use a little, Grandfather. From Basmalda's land? Don't touch it. He'll say it belongs to him and add the price to our rent. Come, boy. Eat your breakfast. Well, what about his breakfast? If he didn't eat his supper till the middle of the night, he doesn't need any breakfast. Now, remember what I told you, boy. We'll share with the dog, but he's not to deprive us of what we actually need. He can have his bone. That will be his dinner and his supper for today. That'll be fine. May I give it to him now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice dog. Mm -hmm. Time will tell. Time. Look, Grandfather. Patrash is waiting for us. Don't rush him, boy. Easy now. Easy. I won't hurt you, Patrash. Honest. Come on, boy. I only want to pet you.
You see, as I told you, you must have patience. You cannot rush friendship with the dog. May I give him this? No, just part of it. The rest is your breakfast in the morning. Here, Petrai. It's very good. It was baked by Mirau Von Tal. You'll like it. Really, you will. He took it, Grandfather. Did you see? He took it right from my hand. We'll be such good friends. <laughs> You have the rent? Oh, yes, best mother. But aren't you a day early? I'm on my way to an evening of cards with Bas Corgus. I thought I'd save myself the trouble of an extra trip tomorrow. You have a legal right to wait until tomorrow to pay it. If you wish. Oh, no, best mother. Perhaps some month you will give us an extra day. When I happen to be a little short. When did you get the dog? Oh, short time ago. We found him on the road to Antwerp. Somebody had beaten him and left him to die. Grandfather and I are making him well, Bass Mulder. What have you decided about my offer? No. I have not changed my mind. Here is your rent, sir. It's a worthless piece. But my wife wants a brass bed. Five francs for it, Ledas. No, I will not sell. It is the last remnant of my love and marriage. I will not sell, never. Cash you can spend. Sentiment will buy nothing. I believe he'd steal this bed if he dared. Every month he comes for the rent. How much for the bed? How much for the bed? Uh, this fine bed, all my souvenirs, they'll be yours someday, my boy. Not much, but it's all I have. Did I ever tell you how the great general shook my hand and personally recommended that I be promoted? Yes, Grandfather. Uh, there we stood at horse, being reviewed, and I... Sh I'd better tell you some other time. I'm much too tired now. Much too tired. Get out of that. Come on, we have to leave. Nello, take him in the house. He wants to help us, Grandfather. Uh-huh. No, I've always been against using a dog as a work animal. You're not a horse if you think you are. He does, though. He wants to help us. Huh? So be it, dog. If you want to share the work, all right. Nello, there are some straps under the bed. We'll see what he can do. Are you going to help? Are you really? Uh, oh. Remember the day we found him, you said that he was a card dog. Even so, Petrash, we won't let you do all the work. We'll help a little, won't we, Grandfather? Uh, indeed we will. Put that on over that side. There we are. He's so happy to be working for us. Uh, oh. Come on, uh, Petrash. Uh, uh, Here! Wait for this old man! Nello! Nello! My grandfather, what's the matter? Oh, it's my leg. It's no good for anything anymore. You stay here today. Petrosh and I can deliver the milk. You know we can. Now, here, I'll help you back in the house. No, no, boy. There's no time for that now. You and Petrosh, you go along. Go along. Sit 
down, Petrosh, and wait for me. Good boy. Gentlemen, if you'll follow me, we'll go behind the transept where the curtains will be drawn. So you may view what is considered the greatest masterpiece Rubens ever painted. Did you pay a franc, as those other people have done, for the privilege of viewing the painting? No, Father. Did you have a franc today? I have some money from selling milk, but it's not mine to spend. Mm -hmm. Then it is like all the other times for you, isn't it? Now, this painting was taken from this cathedral in 1794 and removed to Paris. It was not recovered until after the fall of Napoleon. And it was reinstalled here in this cathedral of Onze Lieve Frauer in 1816. and children, I ought to beat your brains against this wall. This dog is mine, I tell you. He lied. It's my dog. It's his. The dog is his. Come on, say it. It's his. It's his. I'll get him back. You'll see. Mm. Well, cutting artist who delivers milk. Oh, dear. Come along. We'll have to take care of it. Oh. Now don't you worry. That sock threw his dog away for death. The law wouldn't give it back to him, even if he could prove it was his. Help yourself. You, uh, you go to church in the middle of the week? Oh. I was at the cathedral to see the Rubens again. So far, I've only seen the Assumption. It cost a franc to see the elevation. Uh, would it be all right if I took this with me? Oh, sure. So, you like Rubens, huh? Oh, yes, sir. Don't you? Oh, yes. I die of envy each time I see one of his paintings. Sometimes think Guido Reni was right about him. An Italian painter who so envied the way Rubens could paint human flesh, he declared the fellow mixed blood with his colors. Study the masters by all means, but live in the present. How beautiful this is, but just like dust. I thought most colors came mixed in a tube or, or in a pan. Mm -hmm. They do. But I prefer to grind my own, just like Rubens. And from his formula, too. There's a man who knew about the chemistry of color. 
That's why none of his paintings ever cracked. Mine don't either, but that is where the comparison ends. What uh, kind of color do you use, artist? Well, I make my own too, sir. So far, I only have one. It's not really a paint, but it's a color. Yellowish. And I can make green by adding a little charcoal dust. Mm -hmm. I remember you made green by mixing black and yellow that day I saw you in the field. What is this color you use? Iodine. I haven't yet picked out what to draw for the Christmas contest. Hardly matters. They've yet to select a picture worth looking at. With a judging committee composed of nothing but politicians and a few CD art dealers. What can you expect? She has an awfully long neck, hasn't she? Is that a good drawing? Don't you know? Well, I think I like it. Good ass like good cooking. You can taste it, but you should never try to explain it. I know these are apples, but they're not like any I've ever seen. That Cezanne will one day buy me a villa in the south of France. That is, if I'm ever crazy enough to prefer a villa to that picture. Cezanne? Is he famous? As famous as Rubens? Good Lord, child. Don't you know anything except Rubens? How about the Bregels, the Van Dykes, huh? Hieronymus Bosch, Rembrandt, Dürer, Monet. Look at it. He's still alive, still painting. Learn of others, too. An artist does not have to be dead to teach you something. Hmm? And don't avoid the influence of any who appeal to you. Just remember, only blockheads copy. Sorry, I'm late. What took you so long? Oh. Now, don't tell me. I remember. How could I forget the young man who said I was beautiful? Nello, right? What did you do? Bite him? You already cost me half an hour of daylight. Now get your clothes off. Pete. It's all right. The boy claims to be an artist. He delivers milk, but he also draws, and he's got one color, iodine. He's got the face of a Rubens angel. We should paint him. Have you all gone mad with Rubens today? I'm losing light every minute. Corey! See what I put up with? You're justified in acting like a child. But he's supposed to be a full-grown man. You want my advice? Never get involved with a model. She's ruined my life. Ha! What, um, what do you try for in your drawings, boy? Well, mostly I just try to draw what I see. What a heartbreak you're in for when you finally learn to see what you draw. Just to know how to draw is not to draw well, you know. Any fool can learn how to draw. To be an artist, that's quite a different thing. picture I saw you painting in the field that day. I know that picture is smaller than yours, but why does it seem to be so much bigger? I save your dog from that hoodlum. I tend your wounds. I talk to you as if you were an equal, and all you do is insult me. Get out of my studio, you, you, you milkman, you, you and that flea bit mongrel. Both of you, out. Come on, just a minute. You have a pen, ink, and decent drawing paper? No, Mynheer Van Gelder. Here, take that and destroy yourself. Go, find out what you let yourself in for, you little... Get out of here! You're so mean to him. He's only a boy. He's a monster.
Don't mind him, Nello. What did I do? You didn't do anything. I didn't mean to make him angry. Listen to me, Angel. He isn't really angry with you. You see, his work isn't going very well lately. And he's much more angry at himself than with you or me or anyone. Honest, that's why he explodes once in a while. Understand? Forgive him, Nello. Come and see us again soon. Hmm? Thank you, Merval von Gelder. Be an artist, model. You can't stay still for two minutes. I wouldn't be an artist. Please, please, Lois. Just hold still while I finish your mail. Can I talk now? Yes, but keep your head up. Could I go to Antwerp with you someday? And watch you sell the milk? Anytime you want. Tomorrow? Mm hmm. Now keep your head up. Oh, that'll be wonderful. I'll fix a lunch to take along. And, Nello, can we go visit the studio of this artist, you know? Uh, I don't know. Why? I want to see how his wife poses. Nello, did you see her? Like that, I mean. No. Then how do you know she goes around that way? I didn't say she did. You did so. You I just said I saw Manier Van Gelder's painting of her. Without her clothes on? An artist, that doesn't mean a thing. Huh. It doesn't. A model is a, a no more than a bowl of fruiter. Why even Rubens has used his wife as a model any number of times. Now please, hold still. I'm almost finished. Nello's drawing my portrait. You show very little regard for your mother. She said it would come out to play. Leaving her to do the baking all by herself. Get yourself home, Alois. Go. Help your mother. Yes, Papa. Nello. It's wonderful. It's a likeness of Alois. I must admit that. Here. Take this in payment. Her mother will like it, I know. Oh, no, Vascoges. If you like the drawing, you may have it. I couldn't accept any money for it. I'm offering you a franc, boy. Well, you can have the picture for nothing. Thank you. You're welcome, Vascoges. Be out of bed. There's no law says I can't get up. Well, you don't have to cook or anything. I'm taking care of you now. Well, indeed you are. And I'm very grateful to you. Hey, let him go. He's my dog. That's my dog. Can I take him with me? You're lucky I don't have the law on you. Nello boy. Petrage. That's the man who tried to steal him from me in Antwerp. Pa! That's the trash. What's that man doing with Nello's dog? Perhaps they've sold him. Sold him? Nello and Minet, that's what never sell for trash. Always stay out of it. It's none of your affair. <laughs> He's my dog. He's stealing for drugs. You. Ah! <laughs> 
I swear to you, the dog is my property. He lies, Vasco, yes, he lies. The trash is no dog. Quiet, both of you. And how do you prove that? Prove it. I know my own dog, don't I? Don't raise your voice to me. I'm known as Bas here. I'm the miller. Begging your pardon, sir. This girl pulled my cart. I'm a hardware merchant, sir. Cart? You are a peddler. I'm a peddler. Some months ago, I took pity on my dog and let him loose from a cart to rest beside the road. I went off to get him a pan of water. When he returned, he was gone, stolen from me. Lies! You remember how Grandfather and I found him? I remember how terrible he looked the day you brought him home. So beaten, so sick. You did ever own Petrosh. You didn't deserve him. Left him by the road to die. You are a man of experience, sir. Will you believe that lying urchin rather than me? Will you unmuzzle the dog? If you were the kind master of this animal which you make yourself out to be, you have nothing to fear from him. I don't think a law would have much patience with a man who discarded his dumb beast, left it to die. I tell you, the cur wasn't left to die. It was only in need of water when he left him. <laughs> Go into the house and stay there. to the authorities. Go home. Boss Kogels. Did you hear me? I told you to go home, leave. And don't come back, ever. I'm forbidding Alois to see you anymore. And don't come around here trying to see her. Understand? Now just stay away from here. Please to Antwerp and sell them. Sell them? Yes, there's a few more inside. Sit down, boy. You are to take these things and put them in the cart with the others. But first we'll talk, huh? You didn't finish your painting. It wasn't worth finishing. It's hard to work when you haven't good tools, huh? I've been doing some more thinking. And I've come to a decision. I don't know why you want to become an artist. 
To a man like me, it's a very unreliable profession. But I will no longer try to discourage you. You are to take these things but into Antwerp. These are your. You are to take these things to Antwerp and sell them. And with the money, you are to buy the necessary things for you to become a good artist. No, Grandfather. No! Listen to me, boy. Soon you will be a man. Perhaps sooner than you should. But it will come, you will see. And when you become a man, you must learn what all men must learn. There is a time for all things. Time to be young, time to grow up, and a time to be old. Now, with this knowledge, we must also learn how to enjoy things. When to hold them close and when to let them go. So come, boy, let us pack up these old friends of ours. It's time they gave us both some pleasure. Enough money there for both of them. More than enough. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to save enough to see the Rubens in the cathedral. Doc was here. I, but I want. Don't worry, she'll be back. She has a very good thing here, and she knows it. She'll be back. Don't you worry. You still drawing? Why? Because I like it. Oh yes, the. Children's Christmas art contest. What are you entering, sir? I haven't created anything good enough to enter. Still paint with iodine? Yes, sir. Let's see what happens when you use paint. Here. You, you paint with knives? Sure. Knives, brushes, fingernails. I'd use my teeth if I thought it would help. Now, pick up. Some yellow. And mix it with blue. You mix it as you get on the canvas. Go ahead. I'll clean it up. Come on. That's it. Green. You know how to make that green a bit grayer? Add red. Just a touch. Hmm? That's it. People think only artists, composers, writers, poets, they think they're the only creative ones. They're wrong. A ditch digger is creative when he digs a straighter ditch. Now, you take the yellow and the red to make an orange. See? Now, you diminish it by adding blue. And you get a lovely sort of a gray. A mother who sews dresses for an infant is more creative than any artist who's ever lived. Is the man who made a chair that's good to sit in and fine to look at only a carpenter? Oh, he's an artist too. Now you take yellow, this yellow here, the yellow ochre, and add black. Yeah, smear it, you butter it onto the canvas. Look, there's your iodine and charcoal dust green boy. A mason with his brick and stone is more of an artist than any sculptor because his art has a purpose. You can be creative without trying to be a painter boy. You can save yourself a lot of heartache. So just trying to decide which one of your canvases will determine your reputation and your income for the next few years. Five more minutes to come back and apologize. Want some paints, boy? Help yourself. Here. Take that painting knife along, too. It'll keep you from getting finicky. Lovely face she has. Will these be all right? Better go home now, boy. 
someday you would be struggling with a painting and you'd be saying to yourself, better you should have given me opium than these colors. There's no Very pretty. Well, only the colors are pretty. It's a very bad drawing. Well, I wouldn't know about that. It looks fine to me. <laughs> oh, it's cold today. The sun feels good. I'm going to finish it this time. Trot, you get over by grandfather. You two hold still. Oh, that won't be a problem. You hear music? I think it comes from the mill. Oh, it's Lois's birthday. Put your hands in your lap like before. But you've always gone to Lois' birthday parties. Why aren't you at this one? I, I wasn't invited. Not invited? Why not? I don't see a Lois anymore. Her father has forbidden it. What did you do, boy? I don't know. And besides, I wouldn't leave you to just go to an old birthday party. So it doesn't matter. Now, you two hold very still. Don't you make me look too old now. Well, I don't know what else to do. I better stop before I spoil it. It's done, Grandfather. Didn't make you look too old this time. Wake up, Grandfather. Before you catch. Grand... Grandfather! <laughs> I'm very sorry about your grandfather, Mello. Thank you, Boss Mulder. But as I'm sure he must have taught you, life goes on, eh? About the rent. When grandfather... Well, Boss Miras and Boss Teneris, both of them had made other arrangements to sell their milk in Antwerp. So I heard. And the Fontals are moving to Brussels, eh? Where do you intend to get new customers? Well, Petrosh and I stop at new farms every day. I'm sure we can find some. Well, I hope you're right. But in the meantime, I'm sure you understand that I can't afford to let you or anyone else live here for nothing. I depend upon this rent for what little income I receive. 
Now, I don't want anyone to think that I threw you out, especially with the weather turning so cold as it has. In return for the brass bed, I'll let you stay here another month, even trade. Pass Mulder, let me show you something. I am entering this in the contest in Antwerp. If I should win, the prize is 200 francs. I'm taking it to Antwerp tomorrow, and the winner is announced on Christmas Day. But what if you don't win? Listen, boy, I'm being very fair with you. Do you know the law allows me to take possession of everything here, even the wood for the fire? A landlord denied his rent can do that. Now, if I were a cruel man, I could just order you to leave and simply take the bed. At least I'm offering you a month's free rent for it. Only, please, don't take it tonight. Come get it in the morning, when I'm away. Who announces the winner? There is no announcement. The winning drawing is put on that easel. Outside says that you have a offering for a cabin boy. Have you ever been at sea before? No, sir. Hmm. Pay thirty francs a month, and the ship's the greatest turn. Sign out. Ship leaves tomorrow. Be aboard by six. Do they have dogs on the boat? Dogs? I have a dog. Father, hey, Mama went to Bass Malta's house. Come, it's freezing. I took a present to your house last night, and again this morning. I've been so worried about you. You. I don't care. I made these myself. They're mittens. Aren't you going to open it?
Merry Christmas, Nello. Thank you, Lois. You... You love Petrash? With all my heart. Oh! I'll find him a Christmas present. Wait. Will you look after him for me? Would your father let you do it? I knew he would, but... I don't understand, Nello. Why? I just can't take care of him any longer. Can't earn enough for his food, or... Promise he won't go hungry, or have to sleep in the cold. Where are you going? I don't know for sure. But away. Christmas night, for shame, boy. Christmas night of all times. Why aren't you at home with your family? I have no family. Oh. I suppose you still don't have a Frank. Sorry, Father. I only wanted to see the painting. I'm sorry. Wait a moment. You want to see this painting very much? Of course. So be it, my Christmas gift to you, son. <laughs> <laughs> 